Daryl Dusty Crawford, also known as Lone Bull in his Native American Blackfoot heritage, eagerly reviews the results of his DNA test conducted by the Cellular Research Institute, CRI. The insights he gains about his heritage have broader implications for all Native Americans, as Crawford possesses the oldest DNA native to America, reshaping our understanding of ancestral history. Crawford resides in Hartbutt, Montana, situated within the vast Blackfeet Indian Reservation, spanning 1.5 million acres in the northwestern part of the state. Home to over 17,000 people, the Blackfeet Nation ranks among the largest Native American tribes in the United States, with three additional Blackfeet reservations located in Alberta, Canada. Crawford's DNA test results are astonishing for their deep dive into his genetic history. The CRI scientists have traced his ancestry further back in time than ever before, making this achievement a potential game-changer in the study of human history in the Americas. Historically, the prevailing theory suggests human migration from Siberia to Alaska during the last ice age, which was marked by glaciations. Earth has experienced five ice ages throughout its history, with the current one, known as the Quaternary, commencing 2.6 million years ago. An ice age occurs when both polar regions are covered in ice, while glaciations refer to periods when ice extends over large portions of the planet. In the past million years, there have been 12 glaciation periods, with the most recent one peaking around 18,000 years ago and ending roughly 11,700 years ago. During this last glaciation period, approximately 15,000 years ago, experts posit that humans crossed from Siberia to Alaska. Today, this journey is seemingly impossible due to the Bering Sea acting as a barrier between the two landmasses. However, during that time, much of Earth's water was locked in ice, resulting in sea levels about 400 feet lower than today, potentially allowing for the land bridge migration between Siberia and Alaska. Archaeological evidence supports this ancient land bridge migration theory. For instance, researchers led by Dr. Ben Potter at the University of Alaska unearthed the skeletons of two female children, one stillborn and the other dying shortly after birth, buried beneath a campfire some 11,500 years ago in the upper Sun River region of central Alaska within the Tanana River Basin. From the older infants' remains, scientists extracted mitochondrial DNA, which helps trace the maternal ancestry line. This genetic material matched the DNA found in contemporary Native Americans, suggesting a link between the child in central Alaska and people living further south in the Americas. This discovery's significance lies in the belief that the excavation site was once part of the ancient land bridge between Siberia and Alaska, now submerged underwater. While there may not be a direct genetic connection to modern Siberians, the findings support the theory of a migratory route from Siberia to Alaska during a time when sea levels and land configurations differed significantly from today. The prevalent belief is that the settlers who lived near the land bridge between Siberia and Alaska for an extended period gave rise to genetic diversity. Although their genes align with those of some contemporary Native Americans, further evidence supporting the migration of humans into the American continent from Siberia emerged in a study published in May 2020. The research, led by the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History in Germany, centered on a single fossilized human tooth dating back approximately 14,000 years to the Upper Paleolithic era. This tooth, discovered in southern Siberia near Lake Baikal, provided sufficient DNA for analysis. The results revealed a distinctive genetic mix, combining DNA from Northeast Asia and North Eurasia, closely resembling the genetic material found in many present-day Native Americans. This discovery pushed back the earliest known presence of this specific DNA type from 11,500 to 14,000 years ago. The study findings suggest that this population did not simply migrate to America and disappear. Instead, their genetic imprint extended across Siberia during a time when they closely interacted with people from Northeast Asia. Notably, this strengthens the credibility of the land bridge theory as a likely route for the ancestors of today's Native Americans.
The peopling of the Americas has long been a topic of intrigue and debate. While the prevailing theory suggests that the first Americans migrated via a land bridge from Siberia to Alaska, alternative hypotheses have emerged. These include the possibility of seaborne routes and the belief held by some Native American tribes that their ancestors were always present in the Americas. Daryl Dusty Crawford, a Native American of Blackfoot heritage, embarked on a DNA testing journey with the Cellular Research Institute, CRY, to explore his ancestral roots. His DNA results challenged conventional narratives and carried broader implications for Native American history. Crawford's DNA revealed a complex story of human migration to the Americas. Contrary to the land bridge theory, his genetic heritage pointed towards the possibility of an oceanic migration route from the Pacific. His lineage, marked by the Nahapla group B2, was rarely found in Canada and Alaska, but appeared in Arizona around 17,000 years ago. This unique connection to Polynesia raised questions about migration routes, challenging existing theories. Crawford's DNA also highlighted the intricate nature of heritage. While 83% of his genetic makeup was Native American, with 73% attributed to a single lineage, he also carried traces of other ancestries, including European, East Asian, South Asian, and African. DNA testing has become a valuable tool for exploring ancestry, not limited to Native Americans. Crawford's advocacy for genetic analysis encourages a deeper understanding of the early human presence in the Americas. He emphasizes that such tests may reveal unexpected truths, challenging the notion of full blood. In summary, the story of human migration to the Americas is multifaceted, with various theories and narratives contributing to its complexity. Crawford's DNA results serve as a testament to the rich tapestry of heritage in the Americas, offering new perspectives on the continent's early inhabitants and their diverse origins. Thanks for watching. Never forget to like, comment, and share the video, and remember to subscribe and press the bell icon regular updates.